Hi everyone, welcome to Success Rights Show. My name is Success Olubaju, and uh, on this uh, channel, we talk about success. Success in your career, in your business, in your relationship, and uh, also in your finances, whatever success means to you. So stay tuned and watch us. Today I've got uh, 10 passive income ideas I wanna share with you. Some of them you may have heard before, but like I usually say, it's good for us to, you know, try out things because the word of God encourages us to spread, to kind of, you know, cast our bread upon many waters. And after many days, we'll find it. That is Ecclesiastes 11 verse 1. So I'm going to read it to you again in different versions and then um, you allow it to minister to you. In Good News Translation, it says, invest your money in foreign trade. And one of these days, you will make profit. Verse 2 again says, put your investment in several, many, several places, many places even, because you never know what kind of bad luck you're going to have in this world. Did the Bible say that? If you look at New, um, New International Version, it says, ship your grain across the sea. After many days, you may receive a return. It means if you trade, you can receive a return or you might not receive a return. Verse two, you just compare this thing because I don't want to keep talking about it here. You can read it in your Bible. Uh, it's the verse two says, invest in seven ventures. Yes, in eight. You do not know what disaster may come upon the land. There's COVID now. So God warned us ahead. Ecclesiastes 11.1. 1. Also in English standard version says, cast your bread upon the waters for you will find it after many days so this one is kind of definite and saying you will find it after many days meanwhile good news translation says one of these days you will make a profit so but it's our prayer that we should make a profit and verse four if you even if you you need to read it from verse one to four verse four says whoever watches the wind you are watching the wind. Is it going to rain today? Is it going to snow today? Oh, it's going to snow. The weather is going to be bad. Then you sleep. <laughs> a little sleep, a little slumber. A little folding of the hands to sleep. What did the Bible say about that? Let me continue. 11.4 says, whoever watches the wind will not plant. Whoever looks at the clouds will not reap. So let's not look at the weather. Let's trust God. Let's just plunge in. Whatever you have in your heart you want to do, pray about it and ask God to help you. It's not of him that run it or will it, but it's God that show it mercy. So let's start. I'm talking about passive income. What is the meaning of passive income? A, trans, a, a translation says it's money you earn that doesn't require you to do a lot of active work, you know, to continue making it. And then the reward keeps coming. I will give you some example. If you have a talent or a gift or something you can do naturally, maybe you have a story about your life, about somebody you know, and you could turn it into a, you know, a book, or you have an experience you can write about conveniently. You can write it just once. And then when you sell it, maybe online, if, and you can do it in so many ways. You can do it as audio book. You can write it as a book. You can you know, print it. And you can do it as ebook, so different versions of the same thing. And then you can keep what you can. You can create something on how to do this, how to do that, how to do how to braid your hair, how to even love your husband more, how to rekindle your marriage if you are a married woman or a married man. You can do so many. You know how to pass your A levels. How to, there is so many how to's that you can do. You can do it as a video, you can do it as a book. And people that are interested, you'll be, you'll be surprised. How to walk your dog. People are writing books and they are making money from it. And you're just thinking, what is that person doing? She's always inside the house. Uh, what does, is a thief? <laughs> you're just concluding the thief. You're angry for nothing. This person is making ebooks, is making different things, is not lazy, is creating something. What are you creating? So that is passive income. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about, uh, one of the first tip is affiliate marketing. Now, even if you don't have anything you want to sell, there are people that already have things that 
you can sell. So for example, there was a time I wanted to go into Amazon because, you know, I wanted to sell on Amazon, but I'm thinking that until I met, um, I, I, I watched a video one day of one, uh, is it, I can't remember his name now. If I remember his name, I'll put it in the link. He was talking about affiliate marketing and said, why will I sell goods on Amazon when I can just like, you know, be an affiliate? And I was thinking, what is that? Then I sent, started doing my research. I'm not going to talk too much about this. You can go online and um, check Amazon, uh, Amazon affiliate or associate. So what I did just to test it out was to register. If you go on the first page of Amazon, keep going to the, um, going down the page, you will see the Amazon uh, associate or affiliate. They allow you to help them promote. The, the person you have, that is buying Amazon products is not um, going to pay extra. It's just that you are introducing them to Amazon. That's how Amazon sees it. So when they click on your link and they buy Amazon products, you get a commission. It may not be a lot on those things. Everything you buy on Amazon, most of them are affiliate links. You don't even know who owns those Amazon affiliate links. So that is one of it. There's ClickBank. I won't tell details, but I've just, I'm just giving ideas of what you can do in affiliate. That is, it is not your product, but you're helping a company to sell. There's so many companies that does affiliates. They, 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 they allow affiliates. So they give them links to be able to sell. Even Walmart, there's so many companies doing affiliates. So if you register on their website as affiliate and you are consistent in sending out your link and people are buying just normal everyday shopping even the things i buy myself on amazon i get commission on it so, so that's how it works you can check that out amazon affiliate number two is dividend and stock that has been the old way of doing things people buying shares in companies and things like that that is another one that's number two also three um you may want to just open an account in a bank there are high yield um, high interest um, accounts uh, just don't just open an account. Check the one that you will have a higher interest in. Maybe even if not for yourself or for your children. That is number three. Number four, I am on the YouTube channel speaking to you today. I have not monetized it. Fine, but it's a way to uh, also generate income. Because if you, you can also go and check on, you know, how many views you need before you get a particular, before you start earning. So you can decide to speak on your channel about a topic you're passionate about. I didn't think of this on time I should have started because I love to teach the word of God. I love to preach. You know, when I enter the train in London, I want to hand out my tracts. You know, people, the, people will come and meet, security will come and meet me, oh, stop preaching and things like that. But I saw my Facebook page as an opportunity to preach. So I started sharing on Facebook for some time before I came onto YouTube. So you could start a YouTube channel on your passion. It could be, an, if you're an architecture student, you can decide to say, okay, I want to teach AutoCAD. I want to teach Revit. I want to teach this and that. And then you start a channel with a purpose and uh, gradually you can uh, monetize it. That is a passive income. You can create an online course, like I said, that's number uh, five. You can create an online course and then talk about whatever you want to talk about. Uh, marriage, family, um entrepreneurship whatever how to rekindle your your love life how to pass your a-levels exam how to be a pro in one thing or the other you know little little streams of income number six you can also use a if you have a credit card if you want to use a credit card you can use a credit card that is um that has a cash back even though it's not a lot of money coming back but at least something is coming back we are talking of little little streams of income coming in so cash back. Seven, um, you can start a blog. I've got a blog, not very active on it, but you can have a blog that you are act active on and can generate you money. You can like put all those affiliate link of um, my Amazon link is on my, is on my um, uh, blog. So you can do things like that. Everyone you affiliated to, you can put their link so that people just click them naturally when they buy, you get a little commission. Um, Yes, another thing, print on demand, sorry, print on demand. So if you do your design, you know, on a t-shirt and say, oh, I'm a good mom, mompreneur, Jesus loves you, I love Jesus, whatever you want to write on the t-shirt, you can use Canva, Canva, C-A-N-V-A, I'll leave a link to Canva below. 
please, I'm just giving you the ideas. I'm not, um, I'm not being paid to do this. It's just something I'm sharing that I feel can be of help to anybody. So going to Canva, Canva is a design, um, like a design software that you can use to do so many things. You can design your t-shirt on Canva and then you take it either to Redbubble or any other company that does print on demand, even mugs, so many things I've done uh, like, um, and it's easy to use. Canva is pretty easy to use. I'm not going to do a, a, a talk on Canva here, but it's really, it's really good. Canva is good for you for your designs. And even if you don't know how to design before, there are a lot of um, templates that you can just easily use to do your t-shirt designs. And while I'm talking about that, I saw a video this week. It was really, you know, people were like, why are you sending it? Re it was really funny. You know, this issue of uh, um, the president in America, you know, Nigerians in like making a, a dress or, you know, a cloth out of the faces of Biden <laughs> and she was dancing of, I really love the woman. I'm going to show it now. She, I, I looked at the cloth and you know what was coming into my head? It's not about the woman dancing. It's not about Biden. It's not about Harry. It's about the fact that somebody made this piece of cloth, like they call it Ankara in Nigeria, really beautiful and has a picture of the president and the vice president on it. Okay, I wanna imagine at least one woman wore the cloth dancing away. How many, do I don't know how many people will have bought that cloth. It's an idea. Just pray for your own God-given idea. Somebody made, that, that was what I was thinking. Oh, somebody made this material. And then people bought it and made it in, into clothes. There's so many, you can rise to the occasion. Whatever is happening, you can create something around it and make your money from it. So that's the print on demand thing, or you can even you know, look for avenues to sell these things online. It's really, really good. There are two more businesses I'm gonna talk about. Um, one is called Yemot Energy. Yemot Energy is in Nigeria and is oil and gas. What they do, they, they invest in um, oil business and then they give you, if you invest in the business, they give you returns. So on a monthly basis, you get a good invest in this company in Naira and they pay you good returns because you won't get what they are giving you on your bank account. So those are the, because these people, they've been doing it for quite some time. I know a sister of this guy here in Canada and, you know, I invest in It is such a good way, you know, to generate uh, passive income. The last but not the least, the tenth one I'm going to talk about is investment in property. Before investment in property, you can, my bonus tip is rental, rental income. Maybe you, you've got a three bedroom, you've got a spare room that you don't use every time. You can get a lodger, get a lodger. Even if he's paying $300, at least that can take care of the bills for the lighting, the whatever, you, it's something. It's a passive income. So those are the things. So investing in properties, another thing, you, there's, there's no way you buy the property now, if there's no recession, of course, it, it will keep going higher and higher. So investment in property is a good one. And this brings me to remember, um, a family friend of mine, his name is Dr. Oluwa Tobi Oyefeso. He invests, he has this business in Nigeria. So for everyone in America, in London, in Canada, wherever you are, you are a Nigerian, you want to invest in property. He is a very reliable man. He's a Christian. I've known him for a long time and um, we also invested with him as well. So um, most of the things I say here, you see that I've invested, I've tried it out, or I know someone who has tried it out. So shout out to Dr. Oluwa Tobi Oyef. So these are ways of investing in, um, in property, in landed property, in, in, in property itself, in building itself. So we've talked about 10. Which one are you going to do? Think about it. You can't just sit down. This is 2021. It is time to shine.